All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Richard Reviews Children's Books. I am Richard, and of course I have a children's book for you. The Last King of Angkor Wat by Graham Bass. I, I'm bad with names. And this is a, a story about the ancient temple city of Angkor Wat, and it has some background there, and it goes out, and it, it's the story of four animals who come together and say they all could be great kings, and then an elephant comes along and tests them. And this is a story about the many qualities it takes to be a great leader. And I have to say, you know, wonderful book, nice... <coughs> I'm still sick. I'm always sick. Maybe it's the air in here. But this is a nice, huge book for children. It comes with very richly, very richly illustrated pages and great moral lessons that I don't feel are too, too heavy-handed. Although, you know, the, the one negative of this story is that it is just based on the judgment of one character. It's not, you know, there's not ramifications other than the judgment of the character. There's nothing beyond that. So there's that to say. Again, big books like this, hard to handle, not easy to move around. This is a great book for story time before bed because the color's involved, but the large snake may frighten your child. So if they're afraid of snakes, maybe not. If they're afraid of tigers, maybe not. It just, it depends on your child. Again, I rate books based on the idea of, well, what is it used for? This is a book designed to entertain, perhaps calm down, and give wisdom. And I have to say, this is a great book to have. I would definitely recommend this, or at least, you know, patronize your library, get a copy. This is a book that is going to make your children very happy. So if, if I had a bookshelf in a child's room that I read books to them before bed, this might be on that shelf, because it is a great book for that wonderful, beautiful images, a soothing story that is not too funny, so they're not going to giggle before bed and, and wake up. But, again, some children may not react well to the images in this book. In any case, that's my opinion. I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I am Richard Leland Neal.